my assistant fencer. <laughs> you bringing the fence along. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in there. <laughs> You're such a good assistant fencer. You're so good. Yeah. Oh, that last little bit. You're gonna bring it in. You're so clever. <laughs> You're like a cat, not a puppy. Yeah. Ah, so Sunday morning fencing done. The horses are fenced out of where they've grazed and they're now just being funneled through to where they're grazing. This is all kind of imitating wildlife habitat because grazers move on and leave behind their manure and well eaten grass so that the biodiversity of plant life can thrive. So you can have the small stuff and the big stuff. In here is my plantation of cherries and gilder rose and spindle and oak and rowans. The sheep just left that field and are now in the woods. <laughs> oh, you don't want to play right now. You don't want to play right now. You're just staying out, huh? You just staying out. You just don't feel like playing. Look at that smiley face. You're such a pretty girl. And look, the dung beetles, evidence of the dung beetles. This is that wonderful granular stuff that they dig out from deep in the ground. There's a hole somewhere in here. Uh, where is it? There it is. There's the hole right there. So that's a dung beetle house. Cover it up so a bird doesn't come in and find it. Java, Java, leave your mammy alone. Good boy. Good boy. Good girl. A little bit too big for him. Okay, the horses, as you can see, are down there grazing their fresh patch grass that I've moved them onto. And this is their pathway corridor up to their water up here. I've just noticed this Gilda Rose is blooming again. That's how mild it is. This oak tree is doing fantastically well. It's as old as my niece. I planted the acorn the year she was born. And look at how it's sprouted up. Uh, we planted it here uh, in 2021 with my mother, father, brother, and my sister. It was during that kind of difficult time when you couldn't really travel. So it's my brother's daughter who is the same age as this tree. Wow, look at the orange of those mushrooms or fungi an amazing deep orange they're in this this really old horse chestnut that kind of exploded in a storm uh, a few years ago and it had branches that went down onto the ground and up again so luckily we still have some life and the dogs bear usually he's off hunting rabbits loves climbing this and you can see there's two more of these coming up out of the ground. Hopefully they'll do well. 
They're underneath these larch trees. There's one, two, three, four, five larch trees, six larch trees. But a self-sown oak uh, was here. Was, I say, because the sheep were here. But I built up these larch branches to protect it. So I've got to see if it's still... Oh, it is still there. Look at that. There. So this fella sowed himself. And I'm going to try and protect him. So that he can grow big and strong. Oh, there goes Bear. And Java. Climbing the horse chestnut. What Bear loves doing. Oh, Jesus, Java. <laughs> uh, are you serious? Do you think that's such a good idea? Do you think that's such a good idea? You are such a tree climbing puppy now, aren't you? <laughs> you can see the bulbs. The, sorry, the bulbs. The buds are here. They're all really sticky. No, no, don't chew them. They, they, we want to save that tree. And yes, aren't you clever? All the way up there. Be careful. You're very high up. Very high up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Bear. You're so high up up there. <laughs> She's down there. Up oh, there we go. Coming down. Now, I think I've got to guide you down. Come down this way. Atta boy. Clever boy. Oh, that's a thistle. Yes, prickly. Prickly for baby puppies. You're so clever. Oh, you're so clever. Yes. Clever pup. Climb me a tree. So, I'm really glad to see that oak tree is still in there. And I'll make it more protected. Oh, look. Off again, following Uncle Bear up onto tree trunks. Oh, you didn't make it. You're going to jump up. There you go. You clever boy. Oh, you're so clever. You're so clever. Yes. Oh, look, you're beginning to go gray. Hey, you guys. How are you? Yeah, you have to find another way to get up. You don't have the springy legs yet. Oop! Like your mammy does. Okay, I better go because a little person might fall inside the tree and disappear and I won't be able to get her. Him. Up. Oh, see, he's going up. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, come on! Come on, pups! Dink -dink. Come on, dogs. Good dogs. I just wanted to point something out. These are thistles. Now, there's plenty of grass in this field. There's clovers, there's all kinds of things. And these, the sheep ate. These are thistles. Sheep aren't supposed to eat thistles. Oh, look at that. A spider. Look at it. Beautiful big spider. Probably disappointed there's not much thistle here to make a, um, web from. Anyway, sheep eat thistles. Once the artificial fertilizer has been out of the year, out of the ground for a number of years and they know what they're looking for for minerals and vitamins, they will eat thistles. Oh look, you just went and jumped in the water tank, didn't you? I want to just show you here. You can see here all the different herbs that are here, the sheep just left. That's yarrow. There's clover. Isn't that right? Yarrow and clover and thistle. 
and all kinds of stuff. Buttercup, more yarrow, dandelion. There's dandelion, all kinds of different herbs. And the sheep, yes, they eat thistle. And they occasionally stomp about the nettles. These nettles are not strum. These nettles are eaten by sheep and this thistle. So they don't eat all the thistles, but they definitely chew on a few of them. Isn't that right? You're soaking wet. You love jumping in there. Hey girls. Yeah. So Brindle, you've done a lovely job of making this water all doggy, haven't you? Did you jump in the tank to cool down? She's a hot dog. So you can see she's soaking wet, having just jumped into the, well, she's only wet up to there. Yes. Okay, let's go and check on the lambs up here. Fluffy butt leading us up to where the lambs are. The lambs are all up here and the alpaca. This is known as the wind charger field. And everybody's looking fine. Somebody's moaning in the bushes over there. Oh, look, it's lilac. Hey, lilac. What's up, girl? What you moaning about? Yeah. Java, no. Java, Java, leave it. Good boy, Java. <laughs> They're all ignoring them. Hey, Lilac. How are you, beautiful girl? How are you? the alpaca. Java, Java, Java. Come here. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. Leave it. Ah, 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 ah. Leave it. Good boy. Come here, Java. Come here, Java. Java. Ooh, that was frightening. Yeah, the other dogs went off to chase a rabbit. And you didn't know what that was all about. They suddenly saw a rabbit. And they went chasing it. Good girl, Inca. Good girl. You're all looking really good. Yep. You gotta learn, there's a time to herd and there's a time to just walk through them and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, good boy. You good boy, yes. You good lamb. Okay, we're gonna go in. We're gonna walk past, Le Inca, leave them. Nope, leave. All looking very well. 
healthy bunch of lambs. Okay, we've got to go down this way. Come on, Java. And through here and hope that we don't let you guys in with the lambs or the lambs in with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>